Welcome back everybody. Older adults, listen up. Medicare enrollment period is around the corner and I know that can get complicated. So I spoke with the Southwest Medical Doctor to break it all down for you. Check it out. We're talking Medicare. Just share some of the basics of that for us, please. So great question. Uh, always kind of complex and people sometimes have a hard time understanding it. Breaking it down, there's really four parts to Medicare. There's Medicare A, which is the hospitalization coverage that comes with Medicare. Part B, which is your outpatient part. This is uh, maybe doctors, is it's outpatient uh, procedures, diagnostics. Part C, which is Medicare Advantage, and that usually encompasses uh, A and B. And then there's Part D, which is your prescription uh, drug plans that Medicare covers. So things you'd mainly get at the pharmacy. Okay, and who can actually get Medicare? So Medicare, for, for most, it's going to be at the age of 65, a U.S. citizen or a legal resident who's been in the United States for five uh, straight years. Also, there are some uh, uh, disabilities that will qualify people early to be on Medicare. And then those who have uh, in-stage kidney disease or ALS, also known as Lou Gehrig's disease, they'll typically qualify for uh, Medicare before the age of 65. And what are those enrollment periods, whether you're getting Medicare or you're already on it? So uh, typically you start getting lots of information at when you're about a year before you can uh, enroll into Medicare. And then about three months before, up to six months, I think, if you're initially enrolling is when you can uh, enroll into Medicare. Then uh, each year there's what's called open enrollment. And that's a chance for each person, because remember, Medicare is an individual insurance, to look at the plan they have, see if it's meeting their needs, and if they need to make changes or adjustments. It's during that open enrollment time, which is usually from October to December, uh, that you can make those changes. Okay, and does Southwest Medical accept original Medicare? So, uh, we are. We're now accepting all... Uh, Medicare and its uh, supplements at all of our locations, so all throughout town. Uh, anybody who's on Medicare and, or on one of the Medicare Advantage has the opportunity to uh, establish with us and come and see our providers. Describe some of the growth of Southwest Medical. How has it evolved in recent years? So as you're aware, and probably a lot of your uh, viewers are aware, Southwest Medical's been in the Valley since 1972, uh, and we've grown significantly. We've gone from a three physician group to now where we have over 450 providers that are part of uh, Southwest Medical or Optum Care Specialties. And we uh, now take care of about 350,000 uh, patients here in the Valley. Is there any information or resources you can share um, for Medicare? And I hear there, there might be Medicare classes that make it more clear for people. They are Medicare classes. And again, I think, thank you for bringing that up and it's very important. So what you have a number, it's 1-800-MEDICARE. And if you call that number, they're able to help you get into classes and uh, learn more about Medicare, understand all the different options because there are a lot and make sure that the options you're picking best meet your needs. Thank you, Dr. Rose again. Southwest Medical has locations across Southern Nevada. Just call that number right there on your screen or easily visit smalv.com. We'll be right back. I